Today's video is a little bit different. This is yum. It's like a caramelly biscuit cookie. Yesterday, after not having it for almost three months. Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video. So today's video, as you can tell from the title, is another what I eat in a day, just because I love filming those and I love showing you all the different foods that I like to eat. Um, today's video is a little bit different to a normal what I eat in a day, as I am on my time of the month. So I got my period uh, yesterday after not having it for almost three months. Um, so I don't know whether that would be something you'd be interested in me talking about, talking about what I did, um, what I prioritized to get my period back. Yeah, definitely, if not, if I don't make a video about it, I will chat about it on my Instagram. So make sure you head on over there to hear me talk about that sometime in the near future. But yeah, I will just eat intuitively as I normally do. I mean, today's day two. So um, yesterday I was gonna film my what I eat in a day being the first day of my period, um, but I got called into work, so it didn't really go ahead. But yesterday I had some pasta, I had some chocolate, um, you know, love the carbs and love chocolate when I'm on my period. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be eating so differently today just because I tend to have more of the cravings on the first day of my period but we shall see. I'm just going to eat what I feel like and show you as I go. So I'm thinking maybe I'll make birch and muesli for breakfast. If not, I'm just going to make some and keep it in the fridge just to have over the next few days. But it's either that or eggs on toast I'm thinking for breakfast or a smoothie bowl. So we shall see. I'm not overly hungry yet, so I'm just going to prep the bircher in case I want it when I do get hungry. Hi, pretty boy. What are you eating today? <laughs> just some kibble? Yeah? You look tired. The sun make you sleepy. You're such a good boy. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> about 1 30 now almost two o'clock no sorry it's about 20 past one now and i'm getting hungry i was really full from breakfast i don't know if i just don't have much of an appetite today but to be honest i think because i had two slices of bread it really filled me up and i was also like nibbling on the birch as i was making it whereas normally for breakfast i'd just have one slice of bread and two eggs but anyway 
I think I'm gonna make like a smoothie bowl because I had a savory breakfast I like having something sweet like a sweet lunch and I feel like if I have a smoothie bowl like it will be good right before the gym because it's fruits so it will be easy to digest and also the, like natural sugars and stuff will be good for energy before the gym so I'm gonna make a smoothie bowl and yeah let's let's see oh and before I do that I bought this the other day so I've been seeing this around Biscoff uh, biscuit spread. <laughs> anyone knows what this is or if it's just me but biscoff spread is like a british like a british biscuit i believe um and they do it in like a spread and i've been wanting to try it and it was on special at woolies for four dollars this is a crunchy i'm not really a crunchy spread girl i'd rather just have something smooth but i'm gonna try it taste test okay you can't see it but anyway Mmm. Yeah. I actually like it crunchy because it's like the biscuit inside. Mmm. I wonder what it's like on toast. A girl I follow on Instagram, Better Being Steph, she made a self sourcing Biscoff pudding. So maybe I'll make that tonight. Maybe. I'll make it eventually and show it on my Instagram. But this is yum. It's like a caramelly biscuit cookie. Like cookie butter sort of thing. Mm -mm. Highly recommend. Okay, so I didn't film myself talking about what I have for dinner because Reese had a few friends over so I was kind of like tucked away in my little room trying not to draw too much attention to myself but what I had for dinner was they all had a barbecue so there was some steak left over so I had a bit of steak, potato, some veg, some corn and some barbecue sauce with that because this specific barbecue sauce is really really good with steak so Reese and I love having it. I think it's stubs or something. It's just from Woolies or Coles. So that was what I had for dinner. And after dinner, I had some dessert. 
just because I like to end my meals and my day with something sweet. So I believe I had some uh, berries, so I had some strawberries and some blueberries. And I had a wheat fix brownie left that I made, so I had one of those, heated that up so the chocolate went all nice and gooey. The recipe for that is on my Instagram and I also made a Reels. So that's on my Instagram too if you want to check out how to make it. It's super easy and tastes so good and it's only like 170 calories. So pretty low cal for a brownie. Also if you can hear my fan, just ignore that and that's a bit annoying. Anyway, and then I also had a hot chocolate. So this is the Naked Harvest Moon Milk. It's like a health hot chocolate, so it's got magnesium in it, which helps you sleep. And um, yeah, I just have that. I just like boil some water and add the powder in. And that's kind of how I ended the night. So yeah. Okay, so I'm having dessert to end the night. Just got some berries and my last wheat bix brownie. And I'm definitely going to make more, but tomorrow maybe. It's so good. so much for watching I hope you enjoyed seeing what I ate on my period this day wasn't that much different from what I normally eat I'm you're probably thinking like Liberty where are the carbs where are the chocolate on my period I normally eat so much normally I do it's just like on the first day I tend to have heaps more cravings so because this was the second day of my period the day before this I did have like lots of pasta lots of carbs lots of chocolate and that's perfectly fine but yeah, so this is kind of just like an average what I eat in a day, but I was on my period. So anyway, if you like the video, I hope you stick around and subscribe down below for weekly videos. And if you want to see more of me, head on over to my Instagram. It's at Liberty Bunny. So check that out. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.